Live from downtown Detroit, home of WDIV and Click on Detroit, Local 4 News Today at 6 starts now. Coronavirus cases on the rise in Michigan and across the country. What experts say needs to happen to stop the spread. The ban on evictions put into place during the height of the pandemic has expired. How to get help if you need it. And taking a look outside this morning, a bit of a soggy start to our Sunday here. Taking a nice shot over the river there, looking at downtown Detroit. You can see that rain out there, though, falling all across our area right now. I heard the rain this morning. I had the windows open last night and I woke up this morning. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I think it's raining. We'll just, we'll just close the windows. Yeah, right? exactly. Just, yeah. <laughs> did you bring your umbrella? I did. I did, although I was a little wet coming in. This well, morning. Andrew, I think anybody who's stepping out to get to their car or walking into work, you're going to have a few raindrops to deal with. That's right. Emphasis on the word few because some of those raindrops are leaving and the rain that has fallen across much of southeast Michigan has generally been light across the area. But you can still see it occurring right now, now over late, uh, western portions of Lake Erie, also over southern Ontario. We still have a batch of thunderstorms right around the tip of the thumb, but these are moving down to the south and east over southern Lake Huron and into southern Ontario as we go over the next few hours. Temperatures, though, as you know, are on the cool side, with temperatures starting off mostly in the 60s at this hour. It's 63 degrees right here at Local 4. Temps in the 60s in your neighborhood as well. Now, later today, with all the cloud cover, and there's still the chance of some showers redeveloping because that instability is still going to be around, we'll see temperatures that stay mostly in the 70s all afternoon. The average high this time of year is in the low 80s, but chances are we'll see temps around 70 degrees at noon. I know there's a baseball game today scheduled for 1 o'clock or shortly afterward. Don't be surprised by a few raindrops, but don't be surprised if it doesn't stop the game either, whether it's starting on time or commencing whenever it happens this afternoon and coming to completion. We're looking at highs today up to around 75 or just a bit more later on today. We'll talk more about the forecast for later this week. Any sunshine coming back? What about some higher temperatures? I've got that for you in your seven day forecast in minutes. All right, thank you, Andrew. Time now is 602, and right now the southbound lanes of the lodge are closed at 94 for a really bad crash. Just look at all of those flashing lights. State police have been on the scene for about an hour. We're checking to see if anyone was seriously hurt. We'll continue to keep you updated throughout the morning. The ban on evictions put into place during COVID have officially ended, and this morning there are serious concerns that millions of people could end up homeless by the end of this week, Democratic Congresswoman Cori Bush spent Saturday night outside the U.S. Capitol urging Congress to extend the ban. The night was, um, it was necessary to continue this awareness because we need, we need our, uh, the powers that be to understand that we're not just going to let this go quietly when the lives of actual people that we are supposed to represent, like, like actual whole people, like human beings, actually are at risk yeah. by this policy decision. So, or the lack of one. Yeah. So, we're out here. And if you need help, Michigan still has about a half billion dollars in unspent rental assistance grants. Tenants and landlords can apply for that aid. If you'd like to apply, we've got the information on clickondetroit.com. A family is mourning after a 15 year old's body is recovered near Kielsen Avenue on Detroit's east side. Police say the boy was doing yard work at a home nearby when he decided to go into the canal, but never came back up. Rescue crews jumped into action to save the teen, but it was too late. A gas station employee is behind bars this morning after police say he shot a customer. It happened around 3 Saturday afternoon at a gas station on Plymouth Road near Greenfield on the city's west side. Police say an argument broke out between the employee and a customer and the employee grabbed a gun and opened fire. The customer was taken to the hospital and will be OK. A Burger King worker faces charges after he allegedly pulled a gun on customers at the drive through Police say 24 year old Dustin Rochelot was working the drive through window when he pointed a gun at three customers. Now it happened after they argued over a method of payment. The customers then quickly drove off and called police. The drive through worker then left the incident, but officers were able to catch him later. And got yourself a nice bus today, I'll tell you that. Body cam video here from officers shows them arresting that employee after finding a gun inside his backpack. This happened back in April at that Burger King off Seven Mile Road in Livonia. The fast food worker is due back in court on August 5th. 
A carpet store is destroyed in a massive fire in Hamburg Township. It started around 3.30 Saturday morning near M36. Nine fire departments responded battling heavy smoke and flames. Crews rescued one person from inside the building. Thankfully, no one was hurt. We had multiple departments. There's no fire hydrants in Hamburg Township, so all of the water that we have to use to put the fire out, we have to shuttle in. So the multiple departments are for that purpose of really is just they were had the responsibility of shuttling water that was had a source that was a few miles away. A firefighter was taken to the hospital for heat exhaustion. The cause of the fire is still under investigation this morning. And fire crews also battled an apartment fire on Detroit's east side. It happened around 1030 Friday night on Claremont near Woodward Avenue. Crews had to rescue one person from the roof, but thankfully nobody was hurt. Now to the coronavirus, the Biden administration is leaving the door open for more restrictions as health officials desperately try to contain the Delta variant. And after acknowledging a growing threat to even vaccinated Americans, officials are now weighing next steps as more cities adopt their own rules. But there's also welcome news about the pace of vaccinations. Kathy Park starts us off with the latest. Another major turning point in the pandemic as COVID cases soar. In all probability. The president telling Americans to expect more restrictions after internal CDC documents warn the war has changed due to the surging Delta variant and that the vaccinated can spread the virus too when infected. Are you for mandating a vaccine on a federal level? Um, you know, that's something that I think the administration is looking into. It's something that I think we're, we're looking to see approval of from the vaccine. The CDC director later clarifying her comments, tweeting, there will be no nationwide mandate. Cases have spiked in almost every state, averaging more than 70,000 infections a day, a 62% increase from the previous week. Florida hit a record 21,683 cases Friday, the most since the start of the pandemic. Patients are showing up sick today and last week, and unfortunately, this is going to continue for at least another six weeks. And healthcare workers are also getting sick. The San Francisco Chronicle reporting dozens of staff members at two hospitals in the city have tested positive in the past six weeks. Most were vaccinated. To slow the spread, rules are tightening across the country. Washington, D.C. now requiring masks indoors even for those fully vaccinated. This weekend in Chicago, in addition to proof of vaccine or a negative COVID test, thousands flocking to Lollapalooza will need to mask up at indoor venues. While in New Orleans, mask mandates are back as Louisiana joins a list of top states with new infections. What we're saying now, you really need that mask on, period. Wayne County Sheriff's Office is looking for people to join their ranks. Yeah, the department hosted a recruitment fair at Cullen Plaza in Detroit on Saturday. They're looking to hire 200 deputies to work in the county jail. The starting salary is $36,000. Benefits include medical coverage, retirement package, and tuition reimbursement. Law enforcement is still a noble profession, and we ask those that are interested to come and talk to us and come join us. And if they're not currently interested, to come talk to us anyway. You can apply to the sheriff's office on our website at clickondetroit.com. Well, time now is 6.08 and the fourth annual Le Rendezvous de Detroit event at historic Fort Wayne starts back up later this morning. The event is a French Canadian and Native American cultural event celebrating the founding heritages of Detroit. And today is the last day you can attend. It starts at 10 a.m. and runs till 5 p.m. A portion of the events will be live streamed. You can purchase tickets on Click on Detroit. It looks like a lot of fun, actually. I'm not one of those people who goes in for a renaissance fair, but I might go check that out. Really? Yeah. That's not something I ever heard you say, though. <laughs> I, I'm all about renaissance fairs. Well, we know. It's the turkey leg that brings you in, the whole turkey leg. Yeah. How about you, Andrew? Are you into renaissance fairs? Yeah, when it comes down to the food, you, yeah. you're happy. <laughs> they got, they got old-fashioned corn on the cob, mashed potatoes, all that stuff. Ooh, sure. that Don't good. have enough room to hold it all. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's why, That's why it's a turkey leg. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for some, you just go ahead and dip the leg in the <laughs> and just have everything. That's your spoon. Exactly. I like that. 
Exactly, yeah. yeah. I like that. Uh -huh. All right, I know we're going on too long. I knew in the weather department, hey, we're looking at cloudy skies for right now. A few showers while many of us were sleeping. Any more wetness later on today? We'll talk about that. And your week's forecast filled with sunshine, but will it feel like summer? The answer coming up in your full weather forecast in minutes. The Tigers trying to bounce back against the Orioles. Plus, we're talking about the Pistons, not Cade this time. Next in sports.